Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, let's take a look at how to use multiple tables inside of iWork Numbers. So Numbers is a great spreadsheet program, but it's a little bit different than the old style spreadsheet programs. Instead of having one huge spreadsheet to work with, you can actually create multiple tiny spreadsheets inside of a single document. Let's go and take a look at what I mean. So here I've gone ahead and created a simple number spreadsheet. I've just chosen the blank template and this gives me, uh, you can see on the left here, sheet number one, table number one. So this is the table and it's on a sheet but you can't see that because the table covers the entire sheet. What I'm going to do is click in the upper left hand corner of this table right here and this will give me these little pull handles and basically select this, this table so I can move it. I'm going to delete the table right there. And now you can see I've got sheet one but no tables in it and I have this big blank page. How you add a table is simply go to the tables button at the top and you select any table to add. I'm going to add a one that's called plain and there it puts it right there and I could basically navigate around in this little spreadsheet. I can also click here in the upper left portion of it and drag the spreadsheet around anywhere I want. When I click outside of the spreadsheet you can see that I lose all the different uh, header uh, information here and it's just a simple spreadsheet in its own. So I can go ahead and basically leave that there. I can also go ahead and create a second table there and you can see both of these are now on the left and I can select either one and I can select one and use the upper left hand corner to move it around. I can also use the bottom right corner to grow and shrink it like that. So I can have two separate tables right there. Now let's put something in them. So now I've gone ahead and populated these two tables with different data. And in this first one I'm tracking my variable expenses and I've got uh, a header there. I'm going to select it and do command B to make it bold. And I've divided it up into May and June. Here's May's electric, gas, and water bills and the prices and then June's as well. Now I want to get the total for each month so I'm going to click here and then put equals SUM for sum and then I'm going to go ahead and select these three cells right here and I get the total for those. Same thing here equals SUM and I'm going to select these three and then I get the total there. And I can see when I go over each one of these like this one here I can get the formula but it will highlight the three that are part of the sum like that. So what I've basically done is basically figured out uh, what my total monthly expenses for these two months are. Now for fixed expenses I'm also going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it here at the bottom and I've got a total for my fixed expenses. I'm going to make that bold right there. I'm going to also make these totals bold so I can see them. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this table up here. And I'm going to move this table here. So kind of get them out of the way. Make some room here at the bottom. I'm going to add a new table. And this one is going to be a combination of these. So uh, total monthly expenses. And I'm going to list the months. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a uh, formula where I'm just going to actually select for May the variable expenses plus the fixed expenses. I'm going to do the same thing here. June's variable expenses plus the fixed expenses. And I get the totals there. Now if I click on here I can see that this and this are both highlighted because they're part of this formula. So it's easy to track what each one of these things is doing. I can go ahead and shorten up these tables a little bit. Leave some room for future months. And I can go ahead and shorten this up. These are fixed expenses so this shouldn't uh, change at all. Like that. Now this one may expand in the future so I'm going to uh, leave more room there. So now I can go ahead and arrange these a little better. So now that I've got these arranged here I can do all sorts of different things to complete the worksheet. I can go ahead and for instance add a text box and I can do some text in there. And I can go ahead and move that around here. Increase the font size and make it bold like that. I can also add uh, different shapes. For, for instance if I wanted to add some arrows I can add some arrows like this and show that uh, the variable expenses go into the total monthly expenses. You can see it kind of locks somewhat to these edges here. I can add another one here 
and show that the fixed expenses also go up to the total monthly expenses. I can arrange those any way I want. Now another thing I can do is I can create charts and add them to the sheet as well. So for instance I can go ahead and select the data here and the total monthly expenses that I want to chart. Go to charts, select the type of chart I want, and we'll go ahead and put that here at the bottom. So I've got a chart here of the two different months. Now notice that uh, one of the things I like about this chart is it's charting from $305 to $302. Makes it look like a huge difference. I can bring in the chart palette here which opens up automatically when I create this chart. And I can go ahead and create uh, changes to it. So for instance I can go ahead and select the minimum being zero for it. And I can even set the maximum to being something like uh, $1,000. And then you can see a chart that's more to my liking right here. You can see these months are pretty similar. I can set a name for this chart. Um, and I can go ahead and also change the size of it. So I can make it kind of a little smaller here. I can move it up into the rest of my tables to make a nice looking sheet here that gives me a quick summary of what I want. Now all I need to do is go and change something in here like say if electric was $178 and it goes ahead, updates the uh, variable expenses, that sum there, updates the total monthly expenses there and then goes ahead and updates that chart. You can even see that it animated when I change the number. So you can see numbers goes way beyond the old fashioned style spreadsheets. You can actually create some nice looking documents that make it easy to track different types of numbers in a more visual way. Now go ahead and take a look at all the different templates that come with numbers. There's all sorts of different ideas about what you can do and how you can use it. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>